This is Peak Generalization Tact Plurals 14Z. And I'm just going to show you a quick material sample for this program. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we have three different train classes for a set of dogs, cows, and ducks, and a different set for tests. The thing to keep in mind about generalization is you're intermixing train and test together within a block. So some trials you're reinforcing, praising, and prompting, and other trials within the same block you will just be testing. So no feedback for it. Um, so for example, the train class, we have a set for dogs, a set for cows, and a set for ducks. So for train, you would just you know, show them one of these pictures and say, okay, what is this? They would hopefully say cows. You would prompt um, and do whatever you needed to get that answer of cows. Um, what is this? And if they would say dog, no, there's more than one dog. Oh, it's dogs, etc. So, and then again, the other duck set, what is it? And you could be prompting and giving feedback for all three of those if they're a set one in that train class. Set two, we just have another set. So another picture of dogs, another picture of cows, and another picture of ducks run the same way. The difference, though, again, is you're going to be intermixing. So you might do a test one. So what is it? And then you might go to train right after it. What is it? And this one you could prompt during because it's from duck set one. Then you might do, what is it? And they say dogs. Great job. That was awesome. Those are dogs. And then you might show them the test one next, if that's what's next in your block. What is it? And if they say dogs, okay, let's do the next one. You can't give them any feedback or reinforce that they did get the correct answer. But again, those are going to be intermixed um, trials within a block. So this is just one example of some materials and kind of how to run TACT Plurals 14Z from Peak Generalization.